Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 29th question from CBSC Class 10 Examination 2022-23, Section C, where each question is of 3 marks. Now, 29A and B question both are from the circles chapter. Now, let us start with the B question first. In the given figure, a circle is inscribed in a quadrilateral ABCD, in which angle B is given as 90 degree. If the side length AD is given as 17 cm, AB as 20 cm and DS as 3 cm, find the radius of the given circle. Now here the side lengths are given. So let us begin by highlighting the side lengths first. So we have highlighted the given side lengths. Next let us begin by writing the side length AD. So here we have written that given that the side length AD is 17 cm. But we can see that the AD is made up of AR and DR. So we are going to write here AD is equal to AR plus DR. So let us take it as our equation 1. Now before we proceed to the next step, we need to learn two theorems over here, which are two tangent theorem and radius tangent theorem. Now the two tangent theorem states that if two tangents are drawn to a circle from the same external point, then the lengths of the tangents are equal. Now you can see that I have drawn a circle with center O and there is an external point A through which two tangents are drawn to the circle touching the circle at points B and C. Now according to the theorem, if we consider the length of AB as 10 cm, then the length of AC is also going to be 10 cm. That is the lengths of the tangents drawn from the same external point are going to be equal. Now the radius tangent theorem states that radius or diameter of a circle always makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it. Now you can see again I have drawn a circle with center O. Now there are two radii to the circle that is OB and OC. And there is an external point which makes a tangent AB touching the circle at point B. So here the OB is a radius and AB is a tangent. And according to the theorem, the radius always makes a 90 degree angle to the tangent touching it. Similarly, OC is a radius and AC is a tangent touching the radius at point C. So according to the theorem, here angle OCA is going to be 90 degree. Now let us make use of these two theorems to solve the example above. Now, if we consider the point D, D is acting as an external point which makes two tangents to the circle that is DR and ds which means the length of dr is going to be equal to length of ds so here we have written but length dr is equal to ds the reason being the two tangent theorem and the length of ds is given in the question as 3 cm which means dr will be equal to 3 cm now since we got the length of dr which is 3 cm we can find out the length of ar that is by using the equation so here we have written AR is equal to taking DR on the other side of the equal to sign we get AD minus DR that is from equation 1. Now since we have the length of AD and length of DR we have to just find the difference that is 17 minus 3 that gives us AR is equal to 14 centimeter. Now we have found out the length of AR. Next let us proceed with the same steps but taking the length AB. So here we have written Given AB is equal to 20 cm, now I have drawn the same diagram over here for easy reference. So these are the same steps being repeated but taking into consideration the length AB. So here the length AB is nothing but AQ plus QB. Now if we consider A as an external point, it makes two tangents to the circle that is AR and AQ. Now using the two tangent theorem, we can now say that the length of AR becomes equal to the length of AQ. And we already know the length of AR from the previous step, which was 14 cm. So here we can write AQ is equal to AR and the value of AR was 14 cm. Hence the value of AQ is also going to be 14 cm. Now once we have got this, we have the length of AB, which was given in the question over here. So again making use of this second equation, which was AB equal to AQ plus QB, we are going to find the length of QB by taking AQ on the other side of equal to sign. So we are going to have here QB is equal to AB minus AQ. 
and AB is 20 centimeter minus AQ is 14 centimeter. So now we found out the length of QB which is 20 minus 14, 6 centimeter. Now once we have found out the value of QB, let us focus on this inside quadrilateral that is OQBP. Now OQ and OP are the radii of the circle with center O and AB and BC are the tangents to the circle touching the circle at point Q and point P. So here we have to make use of the second theorem that is radius tangent theorem. Now OQ is radius and AB is the tangent touching the circle at point Q. So we can write OQ is perpendicular to AB which is nothing but angle OQB is 90 degree using radius tangent theorem. Similarly we are going to write here OP is a radius and BC is the tangent touching the circle at point P which means OP is going to be perpendicular to BC. So we can write angle OPB is also going to be 90 degree. Now three angles are 90 degree, angle B was given as 90 in the question. So the remaining fourth angle is also going to be 90 degree. So all the angles are 90 degree and additionally in the diagram it was given that the side length OQ is R and OP is also R. Since two sides are same then we can take QB also as R and BP is also as R. So this forms a square now. So here we have written since OP is equal to OQ and all the angles of the quadrilateral OQBP are 90 degree, we can say that quadrilateral OQBP is a square. Since all the sides are going to be equal to the radius and we found out the length of one of the side that is BQ or QB as 6 cm. So the radius is going to be equal to 6 cm. So this is the answer to the given question. Now let us move on to the 29A question. Now the 29th A question is also from the circles chapter. Two tangents TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from an external point T. We have to prove that angle PTQ is equal to two times angle OPQ. Now the same question is being solved in this video. You can click on this link and you can get the solution for the same. You can also watch the playlist on CBSC additional practice questions over here. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.